Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna sit down, hang out, and share some new makeup products with you guys. So I wanna do a whole tutorial. We'll do a whole full face of makeup together. Well, full face for me, that is. <laughs> you guys know how I do my makeup, super light and natural. But I wanted to share some new products that I've been really loving. And instead of doing a favorites video and just talking about them, I wanna share them with you and show you how amazing they are. I found an awesome new concealer that I'm really loving, you guys, and then a bunch of other products that I picked up during like the Sephora sale and things like that. So we're just gonna chill, hang out, do our makeup together. So grab some coffee. I got my cold brew here ready to go. So before we get started, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss one single video coming up and let's get going. Okay, so I have no foundation on my skin whatsoever. I don't even have my SPF on yet because I'm gonna use my SPF as I always do as my foundation. So all I have on is my skincare routine up until SPF. So before I finish my skincare routine with my SPF as my foundation, I'm gonna use the Color Science Bronzing Perfector. This is a bronzing primer. It has mineral SPF in it, but it literally blurs pores and it makes your skin flawless. I am obsessed with this primer. So I want to apply this directly to my bare skin before my SPF. It comes out in kind of like a whipped texture and I just put it like down my T-zone. This is the bronzing one, so it has like a bronze tint to it. You can actually put this over your SPF too as kind of like a top layer, but I like to put it on as more of a primer and you know, right before I apply my SPF because I'm using that as my, you know, foundation. If you do use a foundation, then do your SPF primer foundation. But I'm obsessed with this. It's literally the best. It makes your skin, your pores just like flawless. So love this. They actually have like a mattifying primer. They have a brightening primer and they're all so, so good. Okay, so for my SPF today, I'm going to combine two together as I always do, but today I'm gonna to use the Elta MD, the UV Elements, which I love. I have loved this forever. It's a tinted all mineral SPF. It's good for all skin types. And then I'm gonna use the Color Science Bronze and I'm gonna mix these two together today. These two make such a good combination too. So I love these two. Um, and what I do is I'm just gonna combine a pump of each in my hand. And I will let you guys know that the Color Science Bronze is coming back in stock shortly. I think Color Science told me around May 5th. So very soon, I've been getting so many questions when this is coming back in stock. There's been so many back orders lately with different brands and just delays with different brands. It's just really hard right now with like COVID and just like just production issues everywhere. So a lot of brands are having like delays, shipping delays, fulfillment delays. So this will be back soon though. So here's my pump of the Elta UV Elements. You can see it comes out like this. It has a great consistency and you know good coverage. And then I'm just gonna take the Color Science and literally just put it right on top and I mix them together in my hand here. And then I'm gonna apply it right over that Color Science Bronzing Primer. You know, just like I normally would with any SPF. But you don't need to put foundation on top because this literally makes your skin so perfected and beautiful and natural. And you know what's funny too? People always say, oh, I can't go without foundation. My skin really needs, you know, some coverage and some, you know, foundation to make it look perfected. But I can tell you guys, if you can just start getting away with not using foundation every day, your skin is actually going to start looking better and better the less you cover it up every single day. I'm not joking. Just give it a try. All right, so I'm gonna use the Nude Sticks. This is the Bright Eyes Trio. And I know I think I talked about this in a video before. I'm not sure if I use it in a video before, but these are my go-to this month for my eye looks. It's super easy. They're so pretty and they're just fast. And I like a good, fast, easy eye when I'm getting ready. So I'm going to take um, the Bright Eyes. I think it's called Bright Eyes Shade. There's three shades in here. Bright Eyes, Nudity, which is one of my all-time favorite nude six pencils as well. And then you get the shade Taupe. So three amazing, you know, eyeshadow pencils come in this one. And I'm obsessed with this little trio. So I'm going to take the pencil Bright Eyes and we're just going to apply this all over the lid. It's a really pretty, just kind of beigey color has a slight sheen to it, but it really just brightens up your eyes. It kind of just gives it such a pretty, just daytime look. So 
I am in love with this. Then I just take like a fluffy brush and just kind of dab that in. They seriously blend themselves, which is why I love these pencils so much because you really don't have to do much to get them to just look perfect. So now I'm gonna take the taupe shade and taupe is a matte shade. And I'm just gonna apply this just a little bit around in like the upper crease. So then I just take my brush and just blend that into the crease, kind of like above the crease and just blend that in. Like the easiest eye look ever. So I don't usually do winged eyeliner on camera because you guys have no idea. When I'm doing like a winged look, I am literally in my bathroom with my face up against the mirror, like trying to get it perfect. So getting it right when I'm just using this little tiny mirror and I'm like trying to like hold two different things, I'm telling you, I am like insane when I like get super up close trying to do my eyeliner. But I'm gonna do that today with you guys. I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner. It's probably gonna turn out horrible on camera, but I'm gonna share with you guys how I do it because I've been getting a lot of comments on how I kind of like soften it a little bit because I don't like a harsh eyeliner. I always try to keep it more soft and kind of like smoky. So I'm gonna share with you how I do my liquid eyeliner to kind of give it that like smoky look. So first thing I do though is take the 100% pure, the eyeliner, and I'm gonna push this up into the waterline just in uh, the upper lashes. So this is my go-to liquid eyeliner. It's the one size bodacious black 24 hour liquid eyeliner pen. And I talked about this in my Sephora recommendations video. I love this eyeliner. It's matte black. I don't like shiny. Um, and it just stays put and just doesn't budge all day long. But yet it's actually pretty easy to kind of get off at night when you're washing your face too. So I love this. Now I'm going to try to do this on camera. You guys literally never see me do liquid eyeliner on camera. So this is either gonna go one of two ways. I'm either gonna be really proud of myself or this is gonna be a disaster. So let's just try this out here. Oh my gosh, see I already can't do this on camera. I need to be like so like, put my arm down on my sink, like get real close to the mirror. Do any of you guys do that too? Like there's certain things when you're doing your makeup, you just like have to be like in a certain setting. I don't know. I'm really weird when it comes to like liquid eyeliner. Like right now my arm's just floating in the air and that's just not gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna take this liner though and I just start out by pressing it against my lashes. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta change positions. All right, I need two hands when I'm doing this here. I hope this is still in focus, but we'll see. So what I do with this eyeliner then is I just start by dragging it out. And then this one's so easy to just kind of wing back in and connect. It's another reason I love this one. So I kind of like make a little point and then I fill in the little point. And the thing is it doesn't have to be perfect because of what I do to kind of smoke it out then. That is another key because if you're not the best at creating the best line, how I kind of like make it look even better and fix that just makes the eye look honestly even better. So there's like a key to all this. So I just go back in and I kind of run it all along the lashes. I don't make it too thick, just kind of natural looking. Okay, so then we got one eye. I'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll do the rest. Okay, I got both sides done with my eyeliner now. So that's just with the eyeliner pen. Now here is what I do. This is the trick to make it look so Perfect. So it kind of gives it like a smoky look. It kind of just perfects the line and it just softens a little bit. I'm not about just like that harsh straight line. I kind of like to soften it and just make it a little bit more smoky. So I'm going to take the Viseart. I use the black and I take this tiny little pencil brush. This is a Hakahodo brush. I get asked that a lot too. It's just like a tiny little pencil brush of theirs, but I've used it for years and I love it. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the black and then all I do is press it right on top of the liquid liner and just right on top of my lash line. So you still get that really good black line from the liquid liner, 
but then this just softens a little bit and then I like to take it and I go over the wing part too and this is another part I need to be closer gosh I'm so weird I swear so I take it and I just go right over top of the wing at the same time but it gives your eye just like that smoky liner look. Okay, hopefully you guys could see that and how it kind of just, you know, softened it up a little bit. It kind of fixes any little mistakes you make when you're drawing that line. And I just love doing my eyeliner like that. So now I'm gonna curl my lashes. We're gonna put mascara on and finish this up. All right, so we got our mascara on. I used the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Now time for the concealers, and I do have a new concealer that I am loving, you guys. I've tested it out now a couple times, and I really, really like it. I think it's great for more mature skin, and if you guys want, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you want to see, like, my top, like, three or four concealers for more mature under eyes. Let me know if you want to see that video because I definitely have a really good like bunch that I'm really loving. So let me know if you want to see a top concealer video. I'm going to start out with my, as always, Color Science Total Eye. This is the best product of life. It primes your eyes. It gives you protection with SPF under your eyes and it gives you coverage and I use it every single day. This is what I do to not have to wear so much like normal concealer under my eyes. This is hydrating. It makes your under eyes just so flawless. It's skincare and a concealer in one. It's amazing. I am using this today in the shade tan. You can see how it brightens your under eye too. It's like the perfect tone to just really brighten. And I'm just gonna dab this under my eye. I actually usually use a brush with this to dab it in, but I did not bring that brush in this filming room with me today, so I really don't feel like stopping and going to get it. So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and dab it in. This is the perfect first step though for the under eyes. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have this product yet, it's so good. I know so many of you have it already and I know you love it just as much as I do. Um, so yeah, you can see that's just like so perfect. So the concealer that I'm gonna use today is a Bare Minerals Concealer, and this is a brand new one. It's the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. I mean, it says it's the Bare Minerals Original. I don't think this has been around for a long time, though. I don't remember ever seeing it. This could be like 20 years old, and I have no idea. Um, but I just discovered it, and I really like it. The coverage is really pretty. It's hydrating. It's not drying. It's not cakey. Um, you can go throughout the day and it looks really pretty yet. So I, is it new? Is Am I just really late here? I don't know. I bought it in the shade medium slash tan 3.5 N is what I'm using it in today. And it's actually perfect for me. So I'm gonna take this and dab it under my eyes, kind of just right in the corners. And then I'm gonna take it around the nose too because I always kind of dab my concealer down the smile lines too. I wanna to put this right over top of the color science that we just applied. I'm gonna laugh really hard if this is like a really old concealer. <laughs> I have not been in the YouTube game for a while, guys, so I could be just completely wrong. Okay, so we have our concealer on. You can see the coverage it gives on top of the color science. So good, and I swear that Color Science just makes every concealer that much better. So I'm gonna take my under eye setting powder today, and I did get a brand new of the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder. I just finished this one up. You guys saw it in my last empties video. I got this during the Sephora sale, and it's just the best under eye powder. I love it. It's just, you know, you just need a little bit, just dab it under your eyes. Everything stays fresh and flawless all day. Nothing budges. And it's just not heavy, you know? As you get older, you want to keep things as light as possible, especially on the under eye area. So that one is just so good. So now we're going to finish up the under eyes. And I don't use the cream eyeshadow pencils under my eyes. I just take like a brown taupey shade out of this Viseart palette. I usually take this one down here. It matches that eye look really well. And then I'm just going to smudge it underneath my eyes so we can finish up the eyes. I'm gonna take my Osmosis Pressed Base. I use the shade Natural Dark, and I'm gonna set kind of just quickly all over my face, just super light with this powder. These are gonna be restocked soon as well. These have been on back order for a while now too with Osmosis, because they're changing the whole compact around too. So they're gonna have like a new packaging, same formula, same amazing, everything about them, but they just redid the packaging and they will be available at the end, actually the beginning of May, I think. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this powder, just really lightly, just all over. 
literally the best powder like of life you guys know that one too all right we're gonna finish off with the rest of our face now and i am using this bronzer right here which i'm obsessed with this is that westman altier Alt Atelier bronzer. So this is the darker shade. I talked about the lighter shade that I already had. I talked about that one in the Sephora VIB recommendation video that I did. Well, during the sale, I picked up the darker one too, because this is going to match me better when I'm, you know, more self tanned in the summer. I am obsessed with these bronzers. They are the best formula. They just blend so seamlessly on your skin. They're the perfect tones and I love them. So I'm going to use this darker shade today. And this is the brush that I've been loving with it. It's the Wayne Goss brush. It's the Wayne Goss number 11. And it's just literally the most perfect brush for this bronzer. And it just picks up the right amount of powder. It just like blends it so seamlessly in with the bronzer. And I don't know, you know how sometimes brushes match certain bronzers really well? Like this is like my favorite brush and bronzer combination. <laughs> so I've just been using this brush. I love it with it. It's one of those brushes that doesn't lay down too much bronzer either. It just, I don't know, it just mixes with this bronzer really well. It's like the perfect little duo to warm your skin up. Oh God, I love this bronzer. It's just so pretty. The tone is so pretty. I'm glad I got both the shades because this one's going to be really pretty in the summer for me, like I was saying. And then I love the lighter shade too. They're both so perfect. The tones are perfect. I can use them both, but I just felt like this one will be really perfect in the summer. Do you see that bronzer? Yeah, it's so good. Okay, let's move on to blush, and I'm gonna use the Westman Atelier. I don't know how to say that name, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm gonna use the cream blush in Chochette. <laughs> These names get me every time. This is the most beautiful, just peachy pink cream blush. So perfect for like that everyday, just light, flush of color. I am obsessed. I got another one of these during the sale too. It's like the prettiest, like poppy pink. So good too. But I kind of want to just do a little bit more, just like a soft peachy pink today. And I just take my finger and just blend it in, just tapping it in. They're so easy to blend and they just dry down kind of a little bit more on the matte side, but they don't budge at all either. So then finishing up the entire face look here, we're going to take this highlighter right here. Same brand, Westman something. <laughs> this is in the shade oh, Pew de Peche. Pew de Peche, that's how I'm gonna say it. This is the most beautiful highlighter and I've honestly not been wearing a ton of highlighter lately, but this is like a mix between like a cream and a powder and it just blends and just sits on your skin so beautifully. I love it. So when I'm in the mood for a highlighter, this is the one I've been grabbing. It's amazing. I just take my finger and then just dab it on it's so pretty, you guys. It looks very natural. I have not worn like a powder highlighter in forever. I've not been into powder highlighters at all. Strictly cream because they just look so much more natural and I want my skin to always look like skin and not like I have layers of just different makeup products on it, you know? And I feel like as you get older, you can definitely start seeing those layers of makeup products. So I want something that just looks super natural, just blends into my skin and this is gorgeous. One of the best highlighters for giving you that natural glow. I mean, do you see that? And you don't see it sitting on my skin. So I love this. I've been using this one just to give my cheeks that pretty pop of glow. And it looks like it's going to be dark in like the container. When I first opened it up, I was like, mm, that kind of looks dark, but it's like the most beautiful, like peachy bronze. And it just melts like right into your skin. So gorgeous. So we are almost done. We're gonna finish up with our lips and this has been my go-to lip liner all month long. It's the Lawless Forget the Filler. This is the shade Pink Sand and it goes with all your pinks and nudes and all of those. If you love the same color lips as I do, then this is a must. It's like the best, smoothest, stays in place lip liner Ever. She just did so amazing with, you know, formulating this lip liner. I'm addicted. So I'm going to use this shade today and I just sharpened it. So hold on, there's like a hair on it. Okay, then we're going to take the MAC Lip Glass in the shade Please Me. This is another lip color I've been using all month. I have been really into just 
lip liner and then a gloss. I have just been barely wearing any like lipsticks at all. I've just been wearing glosses. That's kind of been my like daily go-to. So that's the Please Me by MAC. And then I just finished up a little bit of the Lawless Forget the Filler. This is that lip plumping, line smoothing, just translucent gloss. And I just take a little bit of this and I just put it right in the middle. And there you have it. There is our final look using all these amazing products that I've been loving all month long. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm actually kind of proud of myself that the eyeliner turned out way better than I thought it did without me being like right in front of the mirror. Actually, not too bad. So I hope you guys could see that all. I hope it didn't get blurry when I was like in on the mirror. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything down below in the description box like I always do. Please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and spending a little bit of your day with me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.